what don't we know? The best part of having you here is that you get to peel back the curtain for us. Yes. And you also know what we want to see. Right. Because you've been on the flip side. So what don't we know? Golly. I mean, you. I, where do you want me to start? Just give me any person and I can tell you a story. But here's a good one that that I, you know, that really resonated with me. Um, obviously, Odell, you know, Odell has such a big personality and he is one of the great characters in our league. And I've seen it even with our kids. Like he is just the one they want to look at, be close to. And, and man, we just got to see just how hard he worked and, you know, so many different parts of, of him, you know, down the stretch and what a big part he was of this team. And you see, if you're watching on TV, you see a picture of Odell with Matthew Stafford and he's bawling his eyes out. Right. And so when, when, when he went down in that game and, and all of us as football fans could see that he was, he was on his way to mm-hmm, potentially mm-hmm. having MVP. an MVP game. He was the one who was able to obviously make it so that they couldn't just focus on Cooper cup. And he was such a big part of what we were able to accomplish down the stretch, which was really a credit to him. I mean, to learn our playbook and be able to operate in our system I mean, it's calculus like you have got to really be dialed in. And he made sure he was. So when he went down, I saw a look on Sean's face, which when you know Sean, he's very good at kind of masking, you know, what's going on. But you could just see that he was, you know, devastated. And it's a look I hadn't seen since, you know, Cooper Cup went down um, in a game a couple of years ago. So Les always goes down um, into the locker room at halftime just to kind of get the vibe, be, you know, listen, what's going, what's going on, what adjustments are being made. And he decided, because obviously Odell was devastated. I mean, he is such an emotional, and as his mom said, by the way, his mom is just an absolute badass. She is, you know, track champion from LSU, cool, cool woman. And she was saying to me the other day, she's like, he's just so passionate. And you feel it when you're around him. And he was devastated. I mean, to to have had the journey he had, to have come, you know, all this way and to have it go the way it went. And Les just decided, you know what, I'm going to stay down in the locker room with him and just make sure, make sure he's okay. Obviously, he's not okay, but make sure he's doing okay and really encourage him to go back out. I, you said I encouraged him to go back out because he was such a big part of it. And his being there was going to be really helpful um, for everybody on the sidelines who was devastated for him. So Les stayed down in the locker room. And so he missed the beginning of the second half. So he missed <laughs> the 75 yard pass and the turnover. And he gets back up, you know, into Stan Kroenke's suite where they were watching the game with his people. And they're trying to tell him about what happened. And he's like, I, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, it doesn't matter. We just have to, you know, move forward from here. But, you know, I think it just, it, it says a lot about the way that this team operates. Like people are in it for each other. And so Odell did go back out there on the field and, and, you know, we saw him throughout the second half and, and you just felt so much for him. And even in the parade, he was on the same bus that we were, you could feel like he was, you know, just somewhat down at the beginning. But then as the day went on, when we're riding through the parade, I mean, people are like, I mean, he is, someone that people are really jacked about seeing. So it was, it was really cool. And by the time we got to the stage um, at the Coliseum, he had, you know, kind of turned that corner. Um, But it was, um, you know, that was a, that was a cool thing to, to hear Les talk about. Like, you know, I, I needed him to know that he had to be out there because we were not going to be, especially with the timing of the Robert Woods injury, we were not going to be down, you know, in the Super Bowl if we didn't have Odell to kind of step into that role. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.